Efficient and effective governance and management of IT across the organisation requires that we consider many disparate but interacting components. So when we make decisions, it's necessary to have as much information available to us as possible, which means that we need to have a complete view of the organisation. In our case, specifically of the governance and management processes and structures. COBIT5 provides some help here in the form of enablers which are factors that influence the outcome of the governance and management activities. In fact, these enablers can be taken individually or collectively to help us understand a comprehensive approach to governance and management of IT across the organisation. Enablers are applicable across the entire organisation and include all resources, internal and external, that are relevant to governance and management of information and related technology. It's worth bearing in mind that enablers include the activities and responsibilities of IT functions and non-IT business functions as well. COBIT5 defines seven enablers. Principles, policies and frameworks. Processes. Organisational structures. Culture, ethics and behaviour. Information. Services, infrastructure and applications. And people, skills and competencies. We should also remember that many of these enablers are enterprise resources that need to be managed and governed in their own right. For example, people and services. Looking at COBIT 5's set of seven enablers, we should recognise that enablers are connected. By this we mean that each enabler needs the input of other enablers to be effective. For example, processes need information, organisational structures need skills and behaviour. Equally, enablers deliver output to other enablers. For example, processes deliver information and skills and behaviour make processes efficient.